The legacy of Maya civilization has survived to the present day. They built giant pyramids, new mathematics, astronomy and writing. This is truly a mysterious civilization that has suddenly disappeared. So what do we know about it? It may seem strange how the large pyramids could have eluded the attention of modern archaeologists for a long time. But just a few years ago, the Mayan pyramid over 1000 years old was discovered in Tanina, Mexican state of Chiapas. She was hidden under a hill that was previously considered natural. In 2015, researchers said that this historical monument is actually the tallest pyramid in Mexico, 75 meters. Recently in the Mexican state of Campeche, the ruins of two Mayan cities, previously hidden behind dense vegetation, were discovered. More than years ago, the Olmecs in Mesoamerica were probably the first to realize that cocoa and its products are edible, but it was the Mayans who brought the consumption of chocolate to a Massachusetts level. Archaeological evidence suggests that Mayans processed cocoa at least years ago. However, this drink was not like modern hot chocolate. Maya mixed cocoa with water, honey, chili pepper, cornmeal and other ingredients to make a foamy spicy drink. The preserved Mayan art suggests that drinking cocoa was an important part of the festivities and rituals. The Mayan script, which dates back to the end of the pre-classical period, 300 BC to 100 AD, has been preserved on buildings, stone monuments, rare manuscripts and ceramics. While words in English are formed by combinations of 26 letters, Mayan words were formed from various combinations of more than 800 characters, each of which was a syllable. This writing system is considered the most complex in Mesoamerica. An American from Siberia, Tatiana Proskuryakova studied as an architect. When she was unable to get a job in her specialty, she began to work as an archaeological illustrator for a museum in Philadelphia. In 1930, she was invited to an expedition to the Mayan excavations of Piedras Negras in Guatemala. Despite the lack of formal academic training, Proskuryakova eventually became the first person who partially managed to decipher Mayan writing. It was she who first suggested that the inscriptions narrate events from the life of their rulers, which allowed to decipher many verbs. My wrote books on long strips of sturdy paper made from the inner bark of a fig tree. But nowadays, only three Maya codes have survived, the Dresden Code, the Madrid Code and the Paris Code. Many other Mayan books fell prey to the humid climate of Mesoamerica, as well as Europeans who deliberately destroyed Mayan texts. The internet was full of talk about the end of the world on December 21, 2012, according to the Mayan calendar. The date is long gone, but the apocalypse never happened. However, any Mayan could immediately say that there is nothing to worry about. December 21, 2012 coincided with the end of the 5125-year full cycle of the long Mayan calendar. But this was only one of the calendars that Maya used. They also had a 260-day holy calendar that was used to plan religious ceremonies, as well as a 365-day solar calendar. The Mayans were not content with clothes and cosmetics to make themselves beautiful. In childhood, many men and women artificially deformed skulls to give them an elongated shape which probably meant their social status. He... He Mayans also drilled holes in their front teeth and inlaid them with jade, pyrite, hematite or turquoise. For Mayans who used hallucinogens and intoxicants, it was the best way to talk with spirits. They drank substances such as balch, which was made from fermented, possibly with a psychedelic effect, honey, but in order to get a faster effect and also, possibly to avoid vomiting, Mayans often injected alcohol and psychoactive substances rectally. 
the bright pigment known as Mayan blue has long fascinated archaeologists since it has been preserved for centuries on stone monuments, even in the harsh conditions of the Mesoamerican jungle. But this cheerful color was also used in human sacrifices. When the Mayans wanted to please the rain god, they painted the sacrificed people blue, after which they cut out their hearts and threw them on stone altars. Mayas were built from stone or unbaked brick structures, like saunas, which were used for medical purposes and for ritual cleansing. These sweating houses were found in places such as Tikal in Guatemala and Hoya de Serin, the Mayan village, which was buried in volcanic ash in El Salvador around 600 AD. The earliest known sweating house was discovered in Cuelo, in northern Belize. It is 1300 years older than the famous baths of Roman civilization. Playgrounds were ubiquitous in Mayan cities in Mexico. Maya played pits on them, a kind of basketball. The players tried to put a heavy rubber ball, the size of a soccer ball, without the help of hands into a hoop, similar to a basketball hoop. It was allowed to use the head, knees and elbows. This game was not quite an ordinary pastime, but rather an important ritual, and the captain of the losing team was often sacrificed. The modern symbol of American Thanksgiving Day, turkeys may have first been domesticated by Mayans. Not only did they eat these birds, but they also used turkey bones and feathers to create fans and musical instruments. There is no evidence that the Mayans had aircraft or cars, but they certainly had a complex paved road system. Even Maya possessed advanced astronomical knowledge about the movement of celestial bodies. Perhaps the most striking proof of this is the building with a domed roof called Al Caracol on the Yucatan Peninsula. Al Caracol is better known as the observatory. This tower is about 15 meters high with numerous windows allowing you to observe the equinoxes and the summer solstice. The building is oriented to the orbit of Venus, a bright planet was of great importance to Maya, and it is believed that their sacred calendar Psolkin was also built on the basis of the movement of Venus through the sky. The Mayan calendar determined the time of celebrations, crops, sacrifices and wars. Mayan civilization reached its peak in the years 300-660 of our century. But suddenly everything began to decline in the 8th minus 9th centuries. Mayan cities in the southern lowlands, where once up to people lived, were forsaken and abandoned. There are dozens of theories, but what really happened is nobody knows. Like and subscribe. It will be more interesting further.